Okay, so just this one here. And your arms are fairly well extended. Uh, it's, it's down and low, but you're not leaning frontwards. Okay. And pushing down at the angle. And this one takes a little while to get the feeling. Try to push that end out. It's like you're hitting somebody with this end. That's it. Push it out. Or a little bit of both. Then one-handed, you have the same diagonal, and my hand is always pushing it down. So, so my hand is rotates depending on which angle I'm coming at. There's a lot of forearm action there. And if you're going sideways, it's palm upwards on the end, turns palm down, so I've got a good grip when I'm hitting. Yeah, and then you can see exactly how it's just down. And if you can see yourself in the mirror, like Rob has the mirror there, you're standing <laughs> nice and straight. Yeah, a mirror is very nice. Other, other arm. Because it's that fullness and that freeness of it. And then the two-hander. One hand to work down. This would be a bat, a two-handed sword, big axe. And you have the horizontals on that too. Which goes one hand down, one hand up. Okay. But now this first see very much the same. You're hitting with the outside edges. You just have to be a little looser on the palm so you don't hurt your wrist. You can do the diagonal downs. It requires just a little bit more. But now the interesting thing is, if this hand slides down, you're two-handed grip. If you take a hand off, you're one-handed grip. Put a hand on, you're back to two. Slide the hand up, and you're close. Okay, or you can put the other hand. So here, here, one hand is up, one hand is down. But if you slide a hand down, you're two-handing it. And you can take a hand off and one-handed. But they, so that you can use the sword one-handed, right? You can also two hands, which gives you power. You can go back to one hand, which gives you mobility. You can go two to one, right away. But then you can also do this. It's easy on this one, which is an unsharpened edge, plus two-handed swords, they usually only sharpen about the last third. So they were oh, called pop sorting. This is what you do when you're close to people. <laughs> you know, you grab half that sword, halfway, about halfway, maybe. And you're using it like a staff knife. Yeah, you've got this, it's a close-in weapon. And then if they move further away, you can go to two-handed. Or they move really far away, you've got one hand and you're like, yeah. So you really have a lot of versatility as to what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. You've got to switch tools as you get distance. So there's big distance, medium distance, and close distance. When you're fighting, you've got to switch to the right tool or you're no good. Same thing with the sword. Fighting here, okay, I have pretty good distance, but if I need to really hit hard, I'm going two hands. But if I get really close, I can go here. And farther away.
other one two swings because that's making you switch right and left brain that's it because you're having to go right to left brain side and that is a hard thing for many people right so one two one two one two one two one two one two one cheer up face the flags bow face the instructors bow and peace up class this